sticks. And my house is made out of bricks. Oh, no! The wolf approached the first house and said, Let me in! Let me in!
decided there and then. I'll never ever lie again. The most important thing to do. Always, always tell the truth. The story is Little Red Riding Hood. <gasps> Yay! Little Red Riding Hood went out one day. One day! She was going to Granny's far away. Far away! She followed a path through the deep dark woods to get to Granny's as quick as she could. As quick as she could. <laughs> A big bad wolf came into view. Oh, a wolf! He raised his hat and said, How do you do? My granny is feeling ill. I'm bringing her cookies to make her well. Oh, I must run. My granny is waiting for me. Goodbye. Goodbye. But the big bad wolf knew a faster way. So he reached Granny's house before Little Red. Poor Little Red! He put the Granny in the closet. Then he put on her clothes and jumped into bed. Little Red Riding Hood arrives to the house. To the house! Better to eat you with. Oh, oh no! Help! Cried Little Red Riding Hood. Help! Help! And in ran a hunter who was in the woods. In the woods! The hunter grabbed the wolf and he put him in a sack. And the big bad wolf, he never came back. He She helped Granny get back in bed. Back in bed. They ate the cookies happily, and that's how this story ends. And that's how this story ends. <laughs> and the three bears. Well, once upon a time, Goldilocks went for a walk and came upon a house in the woods. The house belonged to three bears. I'd like to go in if I could. Well, you don't say. Goldilocks walked right in and found three bowls full of food. <gasps> Porridge, she said. How nice. Mmm, 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 that's really good. But the first one was too hot. Out! The second one was too cold. <laughs> the third one, well... Behold! Now this one is just right. Mmm, <laughs> that porridge was yummy. I think I'll go get comfy in the living room. <laughs> Goldilocks went to the living room. Where she found three very nice chairs oh. She had to try them out, of course But they belong to three bears hmm. This one looks cozy Well, the first one was too big Oops! The second one was big too Oh my! The third one was just right oh. But when she sat, it came Need 
to go lay down. Oh my! Goldilocks went upstairs, and there she found three beds. Oh, so many choices. Where to sleep? I want to rest my weary head. But the first bed was too hard, Ouch. and the second too soft for me. But this third bed is just right. Oh, I think I'll just fall asleep. <sighs> <sighs> While Goldie slept, the three bears came home, and they could not believe their eyes. Oh. The door was open. Was someone there? Ooh. What a strange surprise! Oh my! Someone's been eating my porridge. Someone's been tasting mine too. And mine's all gone. Oh goodness me! What's a baby bear to do? Oh dear! Have a look in the living room. Oh, oh! You see what I mean? Uh huh. Someone's been sitting in my chair. <gasps> Someone sat in my chair too. Uh -oh. And oh my dear, what happened here? My chair has come unglued. <laughs> I think we better go upstairs and see if there's someone up there. Okay, follow me. Someone's tried out my bed. This isn't your average bed. Uh -oh. Someone's been sleeping. about the big bad wolf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now settle down and I'll tell you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. <laughs> there once was a girl all cloaked in red. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm taking a walk. That's what she said. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to Grandma's. I'll cut through the woods. I know a shortcut that's pretty good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mama gave Little Red some special treats Oh yeah, oh yeah To bring to her grandma sweets to eat Oh yeah, oh yeah But once in the woods a wolf stopped <gasps> Little Red He said, well hello little one Then gotta go She said, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah <laughs> Well, I I'm really not supposed to talk to anyone but I must get to Grandma, she's not doing well Oh yeah, oh yeah Said Little Red And you kinda smell Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then as she took off, the wolf followed near <laughs> And then raced ahead when the coast was clear Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear <laughs> Yes, oh. that's right, kitties oh. Oh. The wolf ended up at Grandma's place Oh no Scared her with his hairy face <gasps> Oh no, oh no The wolf locked her up Then put on her clothes And got into bed in a grannyish pose Oh no, oh no, oh no Help! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> oh, yes, come in, dear Hi, Granny Said Red when she walked through the door Oh yeah Oh yeah, I've brought some treats from the goodie store. Oh yeah, oh yeah. How nice! 
Then the wolf then burped really big. No. That's when Little Red saw the wig. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> So, and Granny, what big eyes you have! <laughs> Is that so? And Granny, what big teeth you have! <laughs> the better dear <gasps> to eat you with! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think, Mister! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no way! Cried Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, oh yeah! A huntsman who was chopping wood Oh yeah, oh yeah Burst in and shook the wolf all about Unlock the door and let Granny out Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah You big bad wolf Granny <laughs> Well, Granny was scared but she was okay Oh yeah, oh yeah And Little Red said I learned a lesson today Oh yeah Talk to strangers. How about that? And Granny and Red had a nice long chat. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So, what happened to the big bad wolf? They sent him away and he never came back. Phew. What a relief. Well, well, what happened to the basket of goodies she brought to Grandma's house? Uh, anything left for me? Oh, <laughs> Charlie! <laughs>
to the very end. I told you I'd repay you, Mr. Lion C. Kindness is a gift that always sets you free. <laughs> See, you're free. The lion purred, and they lived happily ever after. Like best friends? Yes, indeedy do! <laughs> 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 I'm a liar! <laughs> <laughs> Let's read the story of the tortoise and the hare. Yay! <laughs> oh, please, oh, please. I want to be the hare. Okay, Lily. Uh, uh, I want to be the tortoise. I love turtles. <laughs> well, here goes. I bet I could beat you in a race. <laughs> sure you can. A race you want, then a race you'll get. You're on. <laughs> Tortoise and a hare made a bet one day. I could beat you in a race. Ha! Not a chance, no way. Oh yeah? Uh huh. So they shook on it and they made a pact. May the best one win. <laughs> I'll see you at the track. She'll see you at the track. Keep your focus, don't hold back. You can do it just like that. Huff and puff and keep your pace. Slow and steady wins the race Slow and steady The whistle blew and then Ready, ready set, set and go. go The hare took off like wind But the tortoise was slow Yup The speedy hare she soared Over many miles Like a rocket ship But the tortoise just smiled I can do this Yes I can Keep my focus, cause I'm the man! Wait, I thought you were a tortoise! I get so confused. <laughs> Keep your focus, don't hold back. You can do it just like that. Huff and puff and keep your pace. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs>
Alice laid under a tree, under a tree, under a tree. I'm as bored as I can be. Then a rabbit scurried by. Alice yelled out, Wait, wait, wait! I'm late, I'm late, oh dear, I'm late! For a most important date! And he dove straight down a hole. Alice followed and down she flew, down she flew, down she flew. There was nothing that she could do, then she landed on her feet. I'm so thirsty. Oh, Alice had a big long drink, big long drink, big long drink. Then Alice, she began to shrink. I'm as small as a little mouse. Alice began to grow and grow. How did she grow? I just don't know. Up to the ceiling she did go. What a strange, strange world. Alice found a golden key. A golden key? Goodness me! Which fit the door most perfectly. And through the door she went. A smile spread across her face, and then what did she see? Alice saw a Cheshire cat. A Cheshire cat? A Cheshire cat. It talked and grinned, imagine that. Then it vanished in thin air. A caterpillar said, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Oh dear me, I better go. And Alice ran away. My dear girl, would you like some tea? What, who, me? Yes, you, me. Meet my friends here, one, two, three. How very, very strange. Just then the mighty queen of hearts shouted, Who is she? My name is Alice. Alice, did you steal my tarts? Steal your tarts? Steal my tarts! No, I didn't. Cross my heart. I think you're very rude. The queen got mad and began to shout, began to shout, and hopped about. Oh dear, I must find my way out. How can I get back home? Her eyes shut tight as tight could be. She couldn't see, she couldn't see. And then she counted one, two, three. One, two, three. And she woke up under the tree. I had such a curious dream. A curious dream? A curious dream. How very, very real it seemed. Now let's go home for tea. Here's the story of the little boy who cried wolf. A little boy who tended sheep, tended sheep, tended sheep Sat on a hill like little Bo Peep And tried not to fall asleep To pass the time and make some fun Make some fun, make some fun He cried out Wolf! to everyone My poor sheep are on the run! Help! Wolf! There's a wolf chasing my sheep! It was just a joke he laughed about, laughed about, laughed about. It's so funny that folks came out. And he laughed when they began to shout. <laughs> we don't see a wolf, said a villager there. The sheep 
part fine. Was that just a dare? It was a joke just to pass the time. It's no big deal. It's not a crime. <laughs> you all look so scared. <laughs> One day passed and the boy had a plan. Had a plan. Had a plan. I think I'll do it all again. Just because I can. And just because it seemed like fun, seemed like fun, seemed like fun, he cried out Whoa! to everyone. My poor sheep are on the run! Help! Help! Whoa! My poor sheep! Help! But it was just a joke that he laughed about, <laughs> laughed about, <laughs> laughed about, <laughs> and once again, the folks came out, but when they saw no wolf, they began to shout. We don't see a wolf anywhere. The sheep are fine, now that's not fair. It was just a joke to pass the time. It's no big deal, it's not a crime. But the little boy giggled and <laughs> thought it was funny that once again, he fooled all the villagers. Then one day while tending his flock, tending his flock, tending his flock, the boy saw a wolf and went into shock. I'd better call for help! He thought. Help! Help! Wolf! My poor sheep! Help! Help me! Help me! It's the big bad guy! Big bad guy! Big bad guy! It's the truth, I swear! I would not lie! Please come help me! Hear me cry! Help! There's a wolf! Really? Help! The villagers heard his crying plea, crying plea, crying plea, but they thought it was a joke, you see. So they had cake and cups of tea. So on that day he came to town, came to town, came to town. The villagers gathered all around. And he said, I'm sorry that I let you down. I'm sorry that I let you down. I sure learned my lesson. Yay! Who wants to hear the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? I do, I do. Let's pretend play, okay? And I'll be Goldilocks. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> there once was a girl named Goldilocks who went for a walk in the woods, where she discovered huh? a cozy house right in the neighborhood. Well, I wonder who lives in there. Let's see, shall we? The three bears. Hmm. Anybody home? Let's go inside, Mickey. Goldilocks walked through the door, and much to her surprise, on the table three bowls full of food. <gasps> Porridge! She said. How nice! Yummy! But the first one was so hot. Ouch! And the second one was so cold. <clears throat> and the third one, well... What do you know? Mmm, this one is just right. I just love porridge, don't you? What else is in this wonderful house? Goldilocks found the family room <gasps> With three nice cushy chairs Ooh. She had to test them hmm. each, of course Mickey, do we dare? This one looks really comfy Well, the first one was so big Whoops! The second one was big, too Oh, my! The third one was just right <sighs> But when she sat, it oh. broke in two Oh, dear! Shall we? Goldilocks went upstairs to a bedroom with three beds. Why, look at that! Let's take a nap! Hmm, where to rest our heads? But the first bed was so hard. Ouch! And the second... So soft, it's flat! But the third oh. bed is just right. Ah, uh, what do you think of that? Goldie 
Minnie slept and Mickey snored. Three bears came home to find the front door open and whoa! <gasps> Why it looks like someone's dined! Uh oh! Look! Someone's been eating my porridge. Someone got into mine too. And mine's all gone. Just look at that. Whatever shall we do? Oh my! Looks like we've had company in the living room, too! Uh-huh! Someone's been sitting in my chair. And someone's been in my chair, too. And oh my dear, what happened here? My chair is broken, too! <laughs> hmm, something's not right here. Let's check upstairs. Okay, follow me. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Someone's tried my bed, too. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And look! She, she, she's still there! And, and, and she has a furry friend! Whoops! Ah, ah. Thank you for the porridge! Uh, bye bye! Goldilocks raced out the door and ran till she ran out of steam. When the three bears awoke the next day, they realized it all was just a dream. Just... just a dream? That's right. <laughs> 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 now who's ready for bed? Not me! Not me! Not me! Okay, Dewey, have you ever heard the story of the lion and the mice? It's a very important story about kindness and friendship. Dad, tell us the story. <laughs> well, okay. It goes something like this. Once upon a time, a lion fell asleep, and while he snored away, Two mice saw him and squeaked. One accidentally hit the lion with its tail. Oopsie, Mr. Lion! The little mousy wailed. The lion was aghast and trapped the little guy. Aha! You woke me up, you did. I'll eat you now, small fry. Oh no, please, Mr. Lion. Here's some good advice. If you let me go, I'll pay you back because I'm very nice. What? I'm supposed to believe that you, a little mouse, will pay me back one day? Why, yes, Mr. Lion. Like I said, I'm really very nice. Yeah, he's nice. I'll let you go this once, but never tell the soul. I'm dangerous, you know, and I could eat you whole. Gee, thank you, Mr. Lion. I'll help you out one day. He always keeps his promises. That's what people say. Well, all right then. Grrr. Little mice. Ha! So, the great big lion let the two little mice go on their way. But that was not the end of the story. Listen to what happened next. Well, the lion went on stalking, looking for his prey. But a hunter caught him in a net and the lion was afraid. He roared and roared so loud that the two mice heard his cry. That's the lion's voice! He's in trouble! Poor big guy! Let's go! Back and forth and growling so the lion paced about. And when he saw the mice approach, he hollered, Let me out! They gnawed and bit the net until a hole appeared. You saved my life, my little friends. Well, that is why we're here. Now here you go, big buddy. Big or small, loud or neat, a friend is still a friend. We love to help each other out until the very end. And so you see, we're buddies, and that will always be. A lion and his mice, we're, we're instant, instant family. family. Did you like that, Dewey? Just like you, me, and Holly, we'll always help each other out. 
Out to the park went three little bears Playing hide and seek without a care Said one little bear Let's build a home but let's use straw instead of stone So the cute little bear built up his home Made of straw and not of stone He worked so hard that he took a nap But a wolf woke him up with a rap, rap, rap Who's there? Open your door, I'm a big bad wolf and I heard you snore. Oh no! I'll break down the door, let me come in. Not by the fur on this very chin chin. And I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did, then he laughed with an evil grin. <laughs> Out in the park went two little bears Well, I'll build a house and I'm not scared Said the second little bear And I'll use wood So she grabbed some twigs from the neighborhood Then the cute little bear built her home Made of twigs and not with stone And she worked so hard that she took a nap But the wolf woke her up with a rap, rap, rap Who's there? Open your door, I'm a big bad wolf and I heard you snore. No! I'll break the door down, let me come in. Not by the fur on this very chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Then he laughed and he laughed with an evil grin. <laughs> Just one little bear who was feeling homesick I'll make a house out of heavy bricks Said the third little bear It'll be a snap So he built that house, then he took a nap Open up, open up, open your door I'm a big bad wolf and I heard you snore Oh dear! I'll break down the door, let me come in Not by the fur on my very chin and I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in And he tried and he tried, then he tried again Well, the wolf did try, but to no avail And the three little pigs sent the wolf to Jail. They moved into their house, made bricks so strong, and lived happy and safe their whole lives long. <laughs> can run faster than you. Faster than anyone or anything. Oh, uh, really? Well, then I'd like to challenge you to a race. A race? Indeed. <laughs> what fun. Once upon a time, a tortoise and a hare decided on a race just for a dare. The hare was very sure he would win hands down, but the tortoise Archibald thought That won't get me down. Hedwig the hare was speedy and Archibald was slow. He almost missed his cue when they said ready, set, go. Slow and steady wins the race, be like Archibald. He wasn't very snappy, but always gave his all. The hare raced like a bullet at the speed of light While the tortoise took his time, he had a goal in sight Hedgewick knew he'd win, so he stopped to take a nap As Archibald was nowhere close to catching up in laps Slow and steady wins the race Be like Archibald He wasn't very snappy But always gave his all 
So the hare fell asleep under a shady tree, and Archie heard him snore as he passed him on mile three. When Archie crossed the finish line, everyone said, Hooray! Hedgewig heard the noise, Well, well, you don't say. Slow and steady wins the race, Be like Archie Ball. He wasn't very snappy, But always gave his all. A gold medal for Archie Ball. He cheated! Hedgewig cried. He won fair and square with a slow and steady stride. Hedgewig now was sad he didn't win the race, but Archie tried to cheer him. Put on a happy face. It's just a silly contest, not worth a silly fight. Friendship's what's important. And with that, they made things right. Slow and steady wins the race. Be like Archie Ball. That sleepy tortoise finished first. And he didn't run, he crawled.